Yo, what up, Kenny Bogus? Taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure of your favorite show, Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen. That would be this cat. And yo, people, this week, man, we ain't gonna waste no time. I got a hot one for y'all, literally. And uh, what we're gonna share with y'all this week is a delicious Chipotle chicken over a creamy spinach. You know it's all about flavor. This one of them is all about flavor episodes, church. And on top of that, we got the merch. It's here. Check us out. Tastes.com. You know what I'm saying? Get that merch. And, uh, you know, let's get back to the feature presentation. You about to see it. We about to do it. Right here, right now. Chipotle chicken. Church. Let's go. Okay, people, getting started. A few simple ingredients. What we have here is about a pound and a half of uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And uh, we're not going to waste no time. We're going to get busy, start to season these boys with a light little salt and pepper. Grind it for the best results. You know, to your liking. We're just going to cover everything generously. And we're going to hit it with some fresh cracked black pepper. We can... Get them up high, if you like. You cover more territory usually when you come up high like so. You know what I'm saying? All right. Then we're gonna just hit them. Maybe a, uh, we're gonna use about a teaspoon of uh, granulated garlic. All right. About a uh, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Just dust it. And then we're gonna finish it with about a half a teaspoon on, on both sides of uh, chipotle chili pepper powder. That's what this is, chipotle powder. All right. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Like so. Then we're gonna set this to the side and uh, we're gonna move over to the range and uh, we're gonna put this uh, cream spinach together. All right, let's go. Okay, so in a large skillet, we're gonna add about five cloves of garlic minced to this thing. And I didn't add no oil, as you can see, because we're not gonna let it sit that long. I'm gonna add one cup of heavy whipping cream to the mix. All right. And we're gonna bring this to a nice boil. Okay, and once we uh, get to like a nice visible boil, we're gonna add our cheese. And this is, uh, I shredded some fresh Parmesan. And I had a little bit of Gruyere I, I snuck in there. But you could just use Parmesan. The Gruyere is totally optional unless you, I'm just a cheese guy. So we're gonna put that in there, stir it, stir everything up. To a beyond the roux. A nice little cheese sauce. Stir that in there, and then we're gonna reduce the heat to a medium low. All right, and we're gonna stir this until just until the cheese melts, about two to four minutes, on a medium low. I still see some chunks in there, so we're gonna just keep on going. Like I say, about two to four minutes before we add the spinach. And you can smell that garlic in there, man. It's smelling amazing already. And this is just a side, baby. All right, next, we're gonna add our spinach. I got some baby spinach. We're gonna add to the mix about five ounces. And don't worry about the crowd in the pan. You know, if you know like I know, the spinach is gonna disintegrate and wilt with the greatest of ease, all right? So just stir it in until it starts to wilt. Just until it starts to wilt, you can cover it and move it to the side. Take my little. And that's how it starts. And you're gonna see how it looks when it starts to wilt in the finish that we dropped the piece there. Okay, this is where we hit it. Gonna hit it with a little salt and pepper. Just to your tasting. To your liking. 
and that's only after about a minute. I'm gonna stir it in a little bit more, just till it whips a little bit more to my liking, and it almost disintegrated this this spinach already, y'all. Uh, looking and smelling amazing. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and at this point, let it simmer another couple seconds and we're gonna cover it, set it to the side, and uh, get you this, uh, to these Chipotle chicken demonstrations. All right? All right. Okay, so I got one of my favorites, the cast iron, the large cast iron, and uh, what we did was we're gonna heat it on medium high for three minutes. So it's uh, heated thorough in every burrow. You know what I'm talking about? Words from my man Rakim. Happy belated, by the way, church. All right. Added two tablespoons of olive oil, and then we're going to begin to drop these, uh, drop the chicken, baby. I think we got plenty of room in here. We're going to let these babies go for five minutes. on the medium heat. Okay, this, my friends, is the flip. And at this point, we're gonna reduce heat to a medium low and let these puppies cook another five minutes. All right, at this point, we're gonna remove from heat or turn the heat off. Then I'm gonna add a stick of butter. Not a stick of butter. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter. Let that melt off. Stir that into the concoction. And when the butter melts, you just want to stir it up. Stir the chicken around in that butter. So everything is uh, glistening and golden, juicy, delicious. And at this point, people, I'm going to meet y'all at the plating. Let's go, church. There you have it, people. There you have it. The delicious chocolate the chicken served over. The even more delicious or just as delicious creamy spinach, and I think y'all know what time of day it is. Let's zoom on in. You know, I topped it with a little uh, fresh chopped parsley. We zooming into this thing like Google Earth or something around this boy, you know what I'm saying? And as we zoom out, I gotta say gratitude. We appreciate y'all for tuning in like you do every week. Subscribe, hit the button, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, man. Hit that like button. Ring that bell so you can get the notifications. Be sure to drop in the comments what you wanna see us do moving forward on Kenny's Kitchen. If it's fly, you know we're gonna give it a try, right? And I'll be going to catch y'all the next time on the Flizz Nip with another one. Y'all be good. Take care of each other. Church. It's all about flavor, baby. There you have it, people. There you have it. Chipotle chicken over the creamy spinach done righteously as we always do. And right now, just a part of the show where we loke up. Got to salute y'all, man, for doing what you're doing. Subscribe. Ring the bell for the notifications. Hit that thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? We need that love. You know what I'm saying? So we can keep bringing y'all this flavor. You know, and uh, spread this thing, man. Share it on your social media platforms, you know what I'm saying, so we can get this thing out there. When you do this recipe or any of our recipes, be sure to hashtag us, man. Hashtag Kenny's Kitchen, hashtag Taste This, Taste D-I-S. And while I'm, um got all these requests, head on over to tastethis.com, man. The merch is here, man. The store is open, it's officially open. Get the new colors, the new designs, the new fits. You know what I'm saying? It's here, baby. Finally. And I'm going to catch y'all next week on The Flip, man. Y'all be good. Take care of each other. Church.